How can young people get involved even more, do you think, in tackling racism? You've got to try and stamp it out and, um, and step up to the plate and say that, you know, that's, if you see that sort of behaviour, it's unacceptable, uh, because it is. Just by looking around the room today, you see different nationalities, different races, and um, yeah, I think there has been a big difference over the, I suppose, the last 10, 15, 20 years, and uh, I think sometimes it's just about educating people properly and, um, and, and not just accepting people's different backgrounds, but respecting us. If you try and put yourself in, in, in these people's shoes, you know, starting going to a new country or going to a new school, it must be nerve-wracking, it must be so nervous, but then if someone, as you said, goes out of their way to try and help them out on their first day or whatever it might be, and obviously sport all seems to be, play a big part in bringing people together, it um, must make a huge difference to these people who were, as I said, must be, I've never experienced it because obviously I was brought up and reared in the, in the country I was born, but it must be so nerve-wracking, it must be unbelievable. And I think any sort of help that we can give uh, people, then it must make, make, make a huge difference to their confidence, to their belief that they made the right decision on moving to, particularly to come to Ireland. Obviously I went to Forest when I was 19 and, and I was nervous then and, and I was able to make, obviously speak the language. But again, that's where sport is brilliant. It brings Although up. you were speaking with a Cork accent, to be I, fair. Yeah, I did have to slow down a small bit, to be fair, uh, the first few months. But yeah, that's where... Um, and, and do you know what? There was, there was lads in England who went out of the way to help me. 